Welcome back. We're just one week from Christmas and today our States of Horror advent calendar is looking at some in-your-face poster art. Shot at Lake Havasu, Piranha 3D is a film you can only judge by the rule of what did you expect? And I think that goes even more for its sequel. Tell me you did not replace our old lifeguards with strippers. Water certified strippers. Double the Ds. Piranha 3 Double D. It also goes for the poster. The Piranha franchise is known for two things. Killer fish and girls in bikinis. Both of which I think are covered. More or less. This is a remake of the 78 original, which added 3D to the mix, and I think that's also covered. In fact, I don't think I've seen a 2D poster do a better job of selling 3D. Also worth noting is that this is a direct reference to the poster for Joe Dante's original. The girl is more relaxed now, and our bikini technology has come on in leaps and bounds, but even the Lilo is the same. I also think it's a less obvious reference to the alternative poster. The massing piranhas with chiselled teeth and glowing red eyes definitely look familiar. There's not a lot else to say, but I think I got a lot of mileage out of that, all things being considered. Sometimes, when you look at B-movies specifically, it can seem like the better the poster, the worse the movie. And there is a reason for that. The worse your movie is, the better poster you need to sell it to counteract the weight of negative word of mouth coming your way. So, with that in mind, how bad does the giant spider invasion have to be to warrant a poster this good and this inaccurate? Just so we all know what we're talking about, here's the spider in the film. <laughs> uncanny. Also, you'll note the second spider on the poster. There's only one giant spider in the film, unless they mean this one. Also, the film takes place out in the country, not in the city, with smoking buildings, arc lights and car crashes. As a piece of marketing, it's brilliant over-promising massively and guaranteeing a disappointed audience, but that doesn't matter. The audience of the giant spider invasion was always going to be disappointed. As an image, it's brilliant. It's better than modern posters for something like eight-legged fri- This spider has ten legs. Thanks for watching. What are your favourite When Animals Attack movie posters? And let us know any favourite movies from Arizona and Wisconsin.